Today I wanted to take you out of my house, out of the studio and all the way to Thailand. And we're in Bangkok today and I'm going to take you around Queen Sawapa Memorial Snake Farm where they do amazing work. We're talking about snake milking to make snake anti-venom. We're talking about veterinary services. We're basically saving snakes and researching them. And I want to show you all the most deadly snakes in the world that maybe you have never heard of. My name's Adam, Dave Kaufman's over there some way. You're watching Wiccan's Wicked Reptiles, stick around. Dave, I have a bone to pick with you. You took me all across the world to find snakes that I've never seen before. Yep. And what the heck is this? You flew me all the way to Thailand to see a western hog dust snake. Is there anything else here or is that it? I was hoping you wouldn't, wouldn't notice that that's all that's here. Anyway, you're out of this video now. Number five on our list is the Sahara Horned Viper. Now this is a viper, so they've got similar type of venom to other types of vipers, which is very interesting. Now obviously, on this list, we're gonna talk only about snakes that you probably didn't know existed, and all of them are gonna be hot, which means that they're venomous. Now these guys are from the Middle East. Now they have these, what Dave called super ocular scales. I think what they are is they're horny scale. They're horned scale, no Adam, that's not what they're. They're horned scales, that's what they look, they look like. They look like little horns projecting above its eyes. Nobody really knows what they're there for. There is a whole bunch of theories, whether it's for keeping sand under their eyes, or it's for uh, breeding purposes, or it's for uh, to make Dave question what they are. Nobody really knows, but at the end of the day, they're one of the coolest looking things. To me, it looks almost like uh, an anamorphs or something, like it's turning into something else, like bat ears on its head. Okay, I'm just kind of rambling because I just thought it was cool and you should see it. Let's move on to number four. Now, number four is this Malayan crate. Now, they do occur in many places in Southeast Asia, including right here in Thailand. Now, we found one of these in an abandoned amusement park, which is the coolest thing in the world. There's a video right here, if that video has come out yet. And I think that these guys, although very interesting to look at, aren't as cool as the all black ones that we found in Bali, in my opinion. Those ones were all black. These ones are banded. Now they're not a banded crate, which are very similar, I guess. Now these guys, they're going to be eating things like rodents. They're going to be nocturnal. They're gonna be on the ground. And just overall, if you're gonna get bit by one of these, make sure you're sitting in a hospital bed. And even then, I think it's something like 80% mortality rate. So this is not a snake to mess with. This is not one you wanna get bit by, but it's something you probably never heard of. And one of the coolest ones that I've found here at the snake farm in Bangkok. And right behind me here, we've got a white lip viper. Now we saw these guys in Bali too. We found them in the wild, a bunch of them. And what's interesting about them is they're very different than a lapid. So things like cobras that we're seeing a lot of here in crates and things like that, these animals, because they're vipers, they have a different type of toxin. And this type of toxin is going to not really attack your organs as much as it's going to attack the area around the bite. So it's gonna be painful, it's gonna bleed, it's gonna swell, and then they're gonna start seeing things like necrosis. And basically what that is, it's killing the tissue around. So when you get bit, you wanna take a look at the swelling, you wanna draw lines around it and see how big it's growing. And as you're doing that, get the heck to the hospital immediately. Now we were lucky enough to visit an unlucky gentleman, a goose, who was with us in Bali. He was one of the guys with Bali Reptile Rescue. I enjoyed every moment speaking with this guy. He got tagged by one of these a few years back. He said that his finger turned to what felt like wood, like you could tap it on a desk, and uh, he, for about two weeks, didn't have use of it. So it took about two weeks to get use of his finger back, and this was a baby who barely bit him. So just imagine what would happen if a white lip viper dumped all the venom in as an adult. Now you're gonna find these guys in the trees. You'll find them on the ground. That's where I found one, and then Dave found one in a tree, and they're gonna be nocturnal. So one of the cooler snakes here, one that you've probably never heard of before, very different than the white lip python, white lip vipers. So now we're gonna do something really, really cool. I'm gonna put some boots on because they're bite proof, and then, so if you look right behind me there, there's a wild Dave Coffin filming, I'm probably ruining a shot, but there's a wild Dave Coffin there filming a King Cobra that was in a basket. There's actually two of them in there, and then right in front of me, there's this bush, and I jokingly asked, is there King Cobras inside this bush that's three feet from my bits, and there is. So uh, there's a sleeping cobra here, there's a, two cobras over there, and there's a Dave Coffin over here. And I am the more dangerous of all three. Oh, there's one over here. Well, you smell the worst, that's for sure. And so I'm gonna stop talking so that Adam can film what he has to film. Go ahead. 
Okay, thank you for your time, Dave. Yeah. So the reason that we so keep look these at that okay, cobra great. right yep. there, mm -hmm. that cobra is just see that coming. So the reason that we have cobras in this enclosure, which is big by the way, this enclosure I would say is probably 20 meters long. So it's obviously huge for these animals that can get 12 foot plus. It's the biggest venomous snake in the world. Now being in front of one of these in the wild is one thing. That is super duper cool, but you can get away from them. You can bounce back if you wanted to, but in here, we're in this enclosure, we're locked in, there's no way out. And if one of these things starts to jump at me, I'm jumping on Dave's shoulders because he's over 12 feet high. So I won't be able to get bit from up there. Dave? Yeah, you can you can you can totally do that. I wasn't paying attention to what you were saying, but I'm just mesmerized, mesmerized on those snakes. I hope you weren't saying that you were gonna do something like jump on my shoulders or anything, because anything but that, well I guess anything but that and a couple of other things that I can think of you totally off, off limits. Oh, Don't okay. jump on my shoulder. You know I walk away from everybody and I play it cool in front of them, but at the same time like to be that close to an animal that can strike incredible distances that's that big, that potent of venom and each one of those snakes has enough venom to kill every single person in this park right now. So it is an incredible experience. It is safe what we did. We didn't go reckless or anything. We have trained professionals with us, but at the same time, there's only a certain amount of safety that you can have when you're inside of an enclosure with three king cobras and especially when they're not all in the same place. So something very interesting, uh, incredible venom dumps, which I hope that we get to see a little bit later from maybe one of the other species of snake, but there's nothing like a king cobra and that was a really cool experience. But there is a ton of other snakes here, so let's go check out some of these other like crazy, most ridiculous venom snakes. Number two coolest snake that you've never heard of here, big eye vipers. Now there's a reason they're called big eye vipers and that's because they're green and arboreal and have big eyes. That's why they call that, especially in the adults, you're gonna notice that they have these giant, these massive eyes. They're used for seeing like mammals and you and I. But I don't think these guys eat carrots. I don't think that's how they got their eyes the, the way that they are. I think that they eat things like rodents. They're gonna eat things like birds. They're gonna be up in the trees. And that is why you see them like that right now. Now they are cohabbed here. It's something that I wouldn't really recommend cohabbing most snakes. But with this species in particular, they do really well in pairs. And of course at the snake farm here, they are milking these guys. They are making the anti-venom from the milkings of the venom from these guys because they are endemic here in Southeast Asia in Thailand. So people do get bit here and we need a way to save these people's lives. Now, of course, the big eye snake, maybe not going to kill you, but if you don't seek medical attention, it's gonna hurt you in a bad, bad way. They're very interesting snakes. They're cool to look at, but you're not gonna believe what I'm gonna show you for number one. And number one, a species that I had really never heard of until I even got here, the beautiful pit viper. Now these guys obviously are extremely venomous. You're gonna find these guys on the ground as well as in the trees. That's where you're gonna find most of their behavior. And also you're gonna find it at night because they are a nocturnal snake. Although sometimes people will say crepuscular, so active during dawn and dusk. But either way, they're called beautiful pit vipers because they are so beautiful. And like most pit vipers, the venom maybe won't kill you, but it's something that you'd want to take care of basically immediately. One of the coolest looking snakes that I've ever seen, they are here in Thailand. I don't think we're gonna find one in the wild where we're going, but it was really cool to get to see one at the snake farm. That was our day at the Queen Sawapa Memorial Snake Farm. Dave, what was your favorite species? You know, one of the things that I love about this place is that they display so many reptiles, snakes especially, from here in Thailand. Some I've seen on previous trips, some I'm waiting to see and hoping to see, maybe even on this trip. But my favorite, I would have to say, is the monocled cobra. I've got a soft spot in my heart. That was one of the first cobra species, let me think, was the first cobra species I saw in the wild right here in Thailand. Yeah, that was probably my favorite. Unfortunately, we're not going to find monocle cobras, but we're going to find a whole bunch of other species when we go herping in Thailand. So hit that subscribe button so you see those videos. And as always, a special thanks to those of you who are the Patreon supporters. Because of you guys, you get to see videos like this early. You guys get to see extra vit footage. And of course, we're going to a condom restaurant later. We are going to a condom themed restaurant. That's going to be on my brand new channel, Strange Adventures. And that's going to be only exclusively for your Patreon supporters, correct? Correct. Correct. So condoms. Condoms. At a restaurant. So if you uh, haven't already, go subscribe to Dave Kaufman's 75 Adventure channels. And uh, for as little as a dollar a month, you can be part of that Patreon club too. Because I do videos on Mondays and Thursdays. That means I'll see you in the next one. Rattle on. Rattle on. <laughs>